There is nothing better than getting yourself fully immersed in your gameplay with the Pico 4, offering excellent comfort and stunning visuals, not to mention the always growing range of apps and games. But are you getting the best out of your Pico 4? Well, just in case, here is my essential list to ensure that you are. Starting off, we begin with cleanup. Now, it doesn't sound the most exciting, but it is definitely recommended because gaming is, of course, a lot of fun and there's nothing worse than a blurry screen or loss of tracking. So every once in a while, just give your lenses a quick wipe down with a dust-free cloth, as well as ensuring that the outside cameras are dirt and smudge-free too. It only takes a minute or so and it ensures that you get the very best that the Pico 4 has to offer. What do you do when you are enjoying your virtual world when you suddenly hear your phone ringing? Maybe you pause, remove the headset and answer it? Well, think again. With see-through mode on the Pico 4, you can simply just double tap the side of your headset and be thrust back into the real world, allowing you to answer your phone effortlessly. To ensure that you have double tap enabled, then just simply go to settings, additional settings, then click on lab, and then quick see-through mode. With this turned on, you can now double tap between your worlds. Did you know that you can keep your battery indicator on whilst you are gaming? Because who hasn't been in that situation where you are in the middle of an important mission, maybe on the last level or encountering the final boss? But in the back of your mind, you know from the many, many hours of gameplay that you have been enjoying on the Pico 4, there can't be much battery power left. So how can you play whilst keeping an eye on the battery levels? Well, to activate the on-screen metrics, just go to settings, then the main settings on the top right hand corner, go to general, about, and then finally click on the software version. Now, when you click on the software version, you have to do it around seven times, and then you will notice that an additional developer option appears in the left hand menu. Select this, then go to enable metrics hood, and on your screen now, you will have a little additional content in the form of stats that your Pico 4 is currently generating. But we now need to enable the battery percentage. So just click on stats on the right hand side and then highlight battery percentage. And then you are good to go. You can also add or remove any of the additional information that's on display as well as alter its size. Pretty cool, eh? Gaming can certainly be more fun with your friends involved, or maybe you fancy a more competitive workout. So what are you waiting for? Because you can actually invite your fellow Pico 4 users along for the ride. To do this, just simply click on friends via the on-screen menu at the bottom, then go to party on the left hand side, select the game that you wish to play, and then invite your friends. Simple as that. If you have suffered from motion sickness during your time in another reality, then this setting can help. Plus, even if you don't suffer with motion sickness, it's a definite must have, as this option of switching to 90 Hz will provide smoother motion throughout your gameplay and of course reduce the chances of you feeling nauseous. To activate the 90 Hz refresh rate, just simply go to settings, then the main settings screen, click on lab on the left hand side, and then here you'll be able to select 90 Hz refresh mode. Do you fancy trying VR without controllers? Then why not activate the Pico 4's hand tracking capabilities? Now beforehand, I will just let you know it only works with games and applications that have hand tracking capabilities. But I can see this becoming a very prominent feature as we venture forward with VR technology. So to try it out for yourself, just go to settings, then the main settings screen, click on lab, and then hand tracking. There is also a small video on display showing you just how to use it. Basically, you hold your hand out to calibrate, pinch to select, or thumb against your fist to grab.
If at any point you feel that your controllers just need a fresh start, well, this can be done within seconds. All you have to do whilst wearing your Pico 4 headset is to press and hold the circle button on your control pad. Keep holding it and then it will go off. Wait a few seconds and then press it again and it will reboot and create a fresh connection with your headset. The one limitation with VR is that no one else can really see what you are doing when you are playing. And this doesn't exactly help when it comes to looking a little less odd. Luckily though, you can easily cast what you are viewing to either a web page, a TV with casting capabilities, or the Pico 4 app. And here's how to do it. First go to settings, and then screencast. And here you can choose which is the best way for you to cast. For TV, then just obviously select TV and wait for it to be picked up. For a web page, then click on web page and copy the link into a browser on another device. And then finally, for the Pico 4 app, well, just click on the app option, and then you'll be presented with a six digit code. Open the Pico app on your phone, click on devices at the bottom, and then screencast. And now of course, enter the pre-mentioned code. And that's it. Those are the many easy ways to share your experience, no matter what it may be, with everyone else. And finally, did you know that you can just quite simply plug in a USB-C storage device to your headset and watch your content inside the Pico 4? It's a very nice and simple feature, and all you have to do is quite literally plug in your USB-C storage device to the side of your headset. Then go to File Manager on the main menu, and here you should see your recognized USB-C device. Open it up, and then select which file you wish to watch, and you can do so without any distractions. <laughs> and there we go. That is my essential top tips as well as features you should activate when using the Pico 4. But please do let me know your thoughts on which feature you think is best and also any features that you think I should have mentioned. Please let me know in the comment section below. Not forgetting, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, gadgets, as well as VR, then please show your support to the channel by subscribing. But until next time, thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.